It seems to be a pervasive problem in the Ford government's upper ranks. Cabinet ministers tasked with provincial business don't seem to be using their government-issued cell phones for government business. A problem that started with Premier Doug Ford but seems to be copied by his cabinet. If we we're seeing a pattern here of ministers who know perfectly well that they are supposed to conduct government business on government devices, choosing to use, I would assume, personal devices instead. Global News has been engaged in a months-long transparency battle over Premier Ford's personal cell phone records. The government admits the Premier uses a personal cell phone for government business, but has refused to make the records public, leading to questions of who can contact the Premier. I think it's just fair to the Ontario people that they know um, who is influencing, who he's talking to, um, why governments are making certain decisions. But the issue doesn't seem to be contained with the Premier. Global News requested the government phone records of five senior cabinet ministers during crucial moments in their files. During those one-month periods, Health Minister Sylvia Jones did not use her government cell phone for a single phone call. The Education Minister and Finance Minister logged just two minutes, while the former Minister of Housing and former Transportation Minister recorded just 20 minutes of phone calls. All of them insist that they follow the records retention laws that they're governed by, but say many meetings take place online or in person. It leaves Ontarians wondering, what are they hiding? Why are they moving over to those personal devices so that, you know, they're not accountable? Critics believe there's a larger culture problem that starts with the Premier. If there's a culture of not being transparent and open and trying to do government business through alternate means that can't be discovered, that's the wrong message to send to the people underneath you. Global News is still awaiting the release of the Premier's personal call logs. Colin DeMello, Global News, Toronto.